Hi, welcome to Chronicles of the Curious, the channel where we explore the mysteries of the universe. Today, we're going to talk about one of the most fascinating and terrifying scenarios for the end of the universe, the Big Crunch. The Big Crunch is the idea that the universe, which is currently expanding, will eventually stop and reverse its course, collapsing into a singularity. This would be like rewinding the Big Bang, the event that created the universe in the first place. But how could this happen? Well, it depends on two factors, the amount of matter and energy in the universe, and the rate of expansion. The fate of the universe is determined by a parameter called the critical density, which is the average density of matter and energy needed to balance out the expansion. If the actual density of the universe is higher than the critical density, then gravity will eventually overcome the expansion and pull everything back together. This is what leads to the big crunch. However, if the actual density of the universe is lower than or equal to the critical density, then gravity will not be strong enough to stop the expansion, and the universe will continue to grow forever. This is what leads to other scenarios, such as the big freeze or the big rip. So, which scenario is more likely? Well, according to current observations and measurements, it seems that the actual density of the universe is very close to the critical density, meaning that it is flat and balanced. However, there is a twist, most of the matter and energy in the universe is not visible or ordinary. It is dark matter and dark energy, mysterious substances that we don't fully understand yet. Dark matter is a type of matter that does not interact with light or electromagnetic radiation, but only with gravity. It makes up about 27% of the total mass energy of the universe, and it helps to hold galaxies and clusters together. Dark energy is a type of energy that causes the expansion of the universe to accelerate. It makes up about 68% of the total mass energy of the universe, and it acts as a repulsive force that pushes everything apart. The nature and origin of dark matter and dark energy are still unknown, but they have a huge impact on the future of the universe. Depending on how they behave over time, they could either increase or decrease the rate of expansion, or even change its direction. One possibility is that dark energy is constant, meaning that it has a fixed value throughout space and time. In this case, the expansion of the universe will continue at a steady pace, and eventually all the stars will die out, leaving behind a cold and dark cosmos. This is known as the heat death scenario. Another possibility is that dark energy is increasing, meaning that it grows stronger over time. In this case, the expansion of the universe will accelerate faster and faster, until everything is torn apart by the dark energy. This would happen even at microscopic scales, ripping apart atoms and space-time itself. This is known as the Big Rip Scenario. A third possibility is that dark energy is decreasing, meaning that it weakens over time. In this case, the expansion of the universe will slow down and eventually stop, and then reverse its direction. This would cause everything to collapse back into a singularity, undoing all of creation. This is known as the Big Crunch Scenario. So far, there is no conclusive evidence for any of these possibilities, and scientists are still trying to figure out what dark matter and dark energy are, and how they affect the fate of the universe. But what would happen if the Big Crunch actually occurs? How would we experience it? Well, it would not be a pleasant sight. As the universe contracts, it would become hotter and denser, just like it was in the early stages of the Big Bang. The sky would turn red, as the wavelengths of light get stretched by the shrinking space. The stars would appear closer together, and eventually merge into giant fireballs. The planets would be pulled out of their orbits, and crash into each other or into their suns. The atoms would be squeezed together, and break down into their subatomic components. The four fundamental forces of nature would merge into one, and finally, everything would end in a singularity, a point of infinite density in temperature, where all the laws of physics break down. This would be the end of time, the end of space, and the end of everything. But don't worry too much. 
The big crunch is not likely to happen anytime soon, if ever. According to some estimates, it would take at least 10 to the power of 100 years for the universe to collapse, which is much longer than the current age of the universe, which is about 13.8 billion years. And even if the big crunch happens, there might be a chance for a new beginning. Some theorists have speculated that the big crunch could trigger a new big bang, creating a new universe with different properties and laws. This would be part of a cyclical model of the universe, where the universe goes through infinite cycles of expansion and contraction, birth and death, creation and destruction. Of course, this is just a hypothesis, and there is no evidence to support it. But it is an intriguing idea, and one that appeals to our sense of wonder and curiosity. So, what do you think? Do you believe in the big crunch? Or do you prefer another scenario for the end of the universe? Let us know in the comments below, and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more videos on the mysteries of the universe. This has been Chronicles of the Curious, thank you for watching, and stay curious.